Hello, I have new microphone now, so the quality of voice is better. And today I will do s exercise connected with timers and counters. Um, to do exercise, I need positive edge detection. You can find find icon of positive edge in BitLogic uh, operators. So drag and drop positive coil. You have also uh, blocks icon of blocks to detection but I use that icons so to detect edge I need a condition to, to check that's RLO result logic operation status status so I need to check for example button I will call it 0.0, .0 input and I need marker because if you don't know what marker is, marker let us to know what was in previous cycle. For example, if here was zero in the previous cycle and now in a cycle we have a logical one, here we have information because uh, that's block, uh, that block can check it and here we have logical one. So. If I want to show you the result, you, I need to use an uh, output variable. I use 0.0, .0 control S, download it to PLC. But if you want to see what marker is available and uh, which marker is in available and which marker is in use, you can press option, reference data, display and you can see a table of memory so you have timers counters and uh, inputs outputs and markers so if you see cross that's in use here, here you have bytes and uh, here you have uh, beats so if you have cross the beats beat is in use okay I'll, i will um, close window. I want to show you that the names are very difficult because that are, that are numbers and um, it is easy, difficult to recognize. So I want to I want to describe it. Please click uh, second mouse uh, button and edit symbol. Now you have, you can uh, type the name. So it's start button to our exercise. So I will call it start. Okay. Marker is without name and that's out output. Mm. Programmers a lot of time spent to thinking about names. So um, I don't know wha what what it, what not what name of output it should be. So simply I will call call it start on output. But here, okay, everything is all right now. I will change it. Uh, in the future but I need to show you the program works so I can press button and I don't see a result here why because it's edge so if I have I have edge the condition is one but it is only milliseconds so I need to set here a a coil of set but how I can do that how I can uh, set a coil I can remove my other coil my old coil and uh, create new coil but I can drop it and the drag but to do it I need to press insert probably you you see insert in your computer here but if you press insert you see CPU and now you can drag and drop it's easy so I will 
Control S, download to PLC. Yes, but of course we need to stop our PLC. Mm, okay, there is, and now I will. Okay, it's working. So I wanted to see how it works. Everything is alright. Okay. So we can do next step. We can take next next step. The next step is generally what we should to do, and um, I'm going to do blinking lamp, but only ten times. So I need a counters because I want to count one, two, three, four, five, six to two ten, and the timers, two timers. In this, in the same way, what was in the previous exercise with timers, because I need to simulate blinking. So I will start with timers. New network. Timers. S pulse. T zero time to count it is a Siemens format so it is S5 T sharp and it will be one second I can copy that ne network copy paste and I will change only my timer the condition is that we have input here start but I can I can't uh, connect it with the input signal because for example it could be uh, input that you can press it and uh, there is a status uh, one input for example you can uh, you can't stop it because there is of course a condition one and you can't uh, do anything else of course you can uh, press down button but if for example you cannot do that you need to check edge condition so the edge condition is only here for a millisecond so i will use a marker next marker here i will change it to marker i will delete it Okay, I can do that. I need to open my uh, simple table. Let's start up output. I want to delete start up output. I need to. Yes. So there is deleted. And now I can here. Set a marker, but it will be simple coil. Simple coil because I don't need uh, set coil because it uh, it it could be set because marker are remembered. So I use marker M zero one. Now I have a condition here. I can use it M zero one. Here, of course, M01, the coil M01, M01, and now the output because the timer, if timer is counting, that we have output, and uh, we needed to uh, check. Uh, we need to set only one timer. Two timers cannot work together, so we need th this output to check the conditions. Q, uh, Q zero dot two. Q zero dot three. Okay, so it can be here. Q 
cool zero one and cool zero oh cool zero two and cool zero three okay reset reset no it's it's not necessary okay let let to let me to see it works block fc already exist enable i don't remember to stop my plc okay and download it yes yes so run timers timers i want to insert timers and i see that it doesn't work so probably i need to use other coil there of setting coil so I will stop my PLC and set a coil here to set. So drag and drop. Control S, download it to PLC. Okay, and now run. And timer start. Second timer start. Okay, everything is alright. Okay. So, the next step is to set a counter. The counter let us to know uh, how many times the timers uh, work. So, the counters are below here. I will use only counter up because I need counter up to counting my timers but first new network if you have a problem to insert uh, below new network you need you have to click network and insert network so the counter up from here okay i have a counter now i can set that uh, the value of uh, the the input value of timer counter up will be a condition of blinking my lamp so i need to set what output is my lamp i will set that my lamp is so edit symbol please the ta symbol table is being used by another application Mm, symbol table editor yes but I will close it edit symbol and I have a symbol of of lamp apply okay Every, everything is alright time the timer counter it should be counter counter zero because I don't have any counter now and the condition was lamp so you need to type here lamp you see how it usable is it's very helpful symbolic names so let me think I have a lamp signal and now the counter is going up but if counter have uh, 10 times I need to reset it so I need to reset timer for example I will set here uh, Q0 zero, zero 03 no no zero 04 because three is not available uh, okay now i have a timer a counter and i ha i can do compare comparison here you have bit logic operation 
counters and below you have uh, comparators so I need to compare if there is uh, 10 actual value of counters so I need equ equ equal uh, comparators of integer e mean that is integer e eq is um, equal so you have of course other formats double and real I will use equal and I don't need a condition here but I need here a variable it should be a marker because it is a, a expected data is type int I need to uh, use here a variable of uh, marker because I need to save uh, a current value from here and check it here so um, MW because I need to um, to check a, a number in digital system in decimal system so it it will be uh, it will it will be bigger than one bit so I need word word so MW for example three is available I'm sure that 3 is available and here I need of course my current value so I will type here and now I will check if check if it's uh, 10 so if it is 10 I need to output what's that I need to output a coil symbolic name it could be counter reset yes counter reset I hope that everything is all right but I see a mistake now because I'm resetting a counter I can't reset counter I need to reset my bit can 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 close here I want not to delay it and I need to reset my bit from here because this is condition of works my uh, timers so I need to reset that M01 so delayed and here reset coil and bit logical bit logic M01 okay let me to see if there's everything all right I need counter here zero BCD because I wanted to see decimal value and run it's working because it was set the timer is counting properly seven eight maybe the time uh, should be shorter ten okay Every, everything is all right the the program stop working so I will press it again and it working again but I don't have a variable to reset our our um, counter generally the generally it's everything for uh, that video in next video I will show you uh, how to check how to set resetting of counter I will do it uh, because it's a very simple step but the subject of next lesson will be using of uh, data block 
we will use a data block to to save our markers okay thank you for watching